do this part we will explore on how to use the intersection intersection observer api of the browser uh, well to be fair locomotive scroll actually does this uh, it detects the elements in the viewport but for the sake of this uh, video we will not use it and we will use the intersection observer api uh, the, the intersection observer api is asynchronous and actually it basically observes uh, the changes of an element into the viewport um, so when we scroll we will know uh, how much or how many percentages uh, a view an element uh, is seen by the the viewport or actually you by the user um, so how we're gonna do this is we will create a hook um, let's call it use on screen and the, the purpose of this hook is to tell us uh, if um, if an, an element or a targeted uh, DOM element is uh, seen on the, the screen. So uh, we'll call it function uh, use on screen. Um, yeah. And we will need uh, to have an inside state. So is intersecting, intersecting let's say set intersecting and by default is set to false and in the end let's return is intersecting cool uh, we need to import the use uh, state no to use oh boy doesn't work to import use state and in an use effect we will uh, do a couple of things we'll create an observer which is a new interse intersection of inter intersection observer uh, in interse section observer yeah <laughs> sorry and inside of it we'll have uh, um, the first uh, value is uh, a, a function a callback and it will give us the entry and we will update um every time we we do something or the browser paints um the yeah, the callback uh let's see what actually the callback does we we get the entries and the observer um so entries will have will be an array but since we know that we We'll have just one target for each, uh, or uh, one intersection observer for each target. Um, we know that there is just one array in the entries. So every time this callback is uh, is called, so yeah, whenever the targets meet a threshold specified for the intersection observer, the callback is involved. So. Um, for the second, as a, as a second parameter, uh, the intersection observer takes the configuration. So we'll have um, a threshold of 0 0.9. So uh, 0 0.9 means that 90% of the element should be visible. That's three sh th threshold, yeah. So, yeah, if you want to be informed every time a target ve visibility passes backward or forward through each 25% mark, you should specify the array. So every time it hits these values, 
uh, will get um, uh, the this callback will, will be called. But we won't, we only need once or twice actually when it enters uh, the viewport and when it leaves. So um, the this th th uh, th threshold of of, of hours uh, of 0 0.9 will be um, uh, called twice. So here we need to update the state uh, with uh, new values. So set intersecting and entry uh, is intersecting and let's uh, give it a false for the default. Uh, inside here um, we'll create um, a reference and this reference reference will be passed through props and if we have this reference current ref uh, we will observe will actually uh, create observer intersection observer to the current reference and in return when the components unmounts we need to uh, unobserve uh, the changes uh, to this um, element so current ref observer um, unobserve current ref current ref and here we need to pass uh, the reference to the use effect and basically that this is uh, the uh, what our hook does yeah we, we forgot here to import the use effect use effect and let's export use on screen cool um, now coming back to our gallery item uh, here we we will have um, const on screen which is a use on screen and we will pass the uh, reference for this we'll need to create a local reference use ref and we should pass the reference to the gallery item so ref reference and we'll need to style um, to trigger the style of reveal to the CSS let's bring our magic class names um, package and here we have a class name oops and reveal one is uh, on screen let's close and back to style we need to add two things to the gallery item image so we will um, create this effect with the help of clip path so by default let's add this uh, inset click click clip path so it won't be visible 100% 0% 0% and one let's uh, yeah have a trans transition actually transition uh, clip path one second and let's bring this uh, cubic easier and when it has a reveal class we'll have the clip path to go to the inset of 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, and for the gallery item image inner, 
gallery will have a transform transform of scale back to one. Now uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, cool. So yeah, um, look at this one in the corner. So when about 90% of the element is visible, the uh, use on screen, or actually the observer triggers that the element is on screen, and we get uh, the class name to be revealed, and then it applies the uh, styles. And we get something like this. Thank you.